So today we are making a very popular snack for any occasion. It accompanies rice pudding desserts very nicely or you can have it alongside other snacks for example samosas, spring rolls, pakoras. For a healthier version you can also steam this. As always it's very easy and all ingredients can be found in your local supermarket. So let's get started. The ingredients you will need are one chopped onion, two grated carrots, a bunch of fenugreek leaves washed and chopped, two cups of rice flour, three heaped tablespoons of margarine, one tablespoon of ground flour, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one heaped teaspoon of cumin powder, two tablespoons of water, salt to taste, green chilies add to taste, and two teaspoons of fresh garlic paste. Okay, so we've gone through the ingredients and in my bowl, I'm going to add the rice flour and the margarine. I'm going to mix this all up. Like this. And it's easier if you actually do it by hand. So, let's just mix that all in together. It's a bit like breadcrumbs. Then, there we go. And then I am going to add the ground flour to that and the carrots and the spinach goes in and the onions basically all the ingredients we are going to add the spices now garlic paste I like them a bit spicy. And cumin. And some salt. Three pinches. Maybe four. And just mix it all together. Like this. Very easy, very simple. Then we are going to add the water to make a soft dough. And it will come together, don't worry. You might think it's not going to come together, but it will all the moisture of the, ca the carrots and the spinach will come together. Just need to mix it properly. Just going to wash my hands. We're going to get all of the mixture together into a dough like this. going to leave this now for a couple of minutes just so all the flavours just marinate in there and it should look like this okay so what we do we take a small amount of mixture and it's a little bit smaller than a golf ball and then in the palm of my hands I'm just going to roll that into like a cylinder shape all it is. There you go. And the next one. We 
We were able to make 34 out of the mixture and now they're ready to be fried and uh, I'm going to shallow fry them. We're about ready, so let's just pop them in. I had the heat on high to get it up to temperature, but I'm just going to lower that slightly. I'm just going to flip them over so it's evenly cooked. We want a nice golden colour. I'm going to take them out now. They're done. A nice golden colour. Strain the oil. Here you go, all done. They should be crispy and crunchy like this. Try it out, let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. If you have any requests, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.